What's going on guys, this is Gene Jensen. If you're one of those people that wanna learn how to read a fish finder, this video is for you. All right, so this video is a little different. You know, back when I used to guide out of a big boat, one of the, I had a lot of clients, one of their favorite parts of the day is when we'd sit down in front of my fish finder and I would idle around and point out what things are and show them what things look like. And that's what I wanna do in this video. And this is gonna be a video series, a whole bunch of videos where I just turn the camera put it in front of the fish finder, zoom in on the fish finder, and as I go around, I point out what things are. So those of you who wanna learn how to read a fish finder, you will know when you're out on the water what these things are and what, you know, and be able to identify them and be able to find fish on them and that kind of stuff. From hard bottom to soft bottom, to drops, to, to ledges, to anything, anything I see on the fish finder. And then I'm, like I said, I'm gonna do a bunch of these, but I don't know what to name this series. I thought about like Fish Finder Friday or something like that. So what I want you to do at the end of this video is down in the description, tell me what you think about the video series and then give me an idea of a title for it and I'll start using that title. But let's jump right in. I'm gonna turn the camera around, focus in on the fish finder and show you guys what I see. All right, well, let's go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom around Zoom. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> Let's do it again. All right, so to start off with, let me show you how I have this set up. I've got my side scan down on the bottom. I've got my down imaging and I've got my regular sonar. So this will help any one of you guys who have, have any of these setups or can set it up just like mine. Um, always pay attention to the depth and the speed. And that's why I have those overlays on there. That's really important. And any, even though if you're looking at images online and stuff like that, I always pay attention to how fast they were going. If it's a long straight line, you'll see, see how this long straight line is, this is interference up underneath the boat, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, I'm not moving at all. And that's why you see that long straight line, but we're going to go around and I'm going to point out the things that I see. My down imaging is set at, uh, or my side imaging is set is at 80 feet. So you take the depth, and the 80 feet, you you subtract the depth from 80 feet, and that's how far out you can see. So I've got, oh, I can see about 50 feet out. So 50 feet out on both sides. And as I get shallower, I can see further out. But anyway, that's the that's the gist of it. Let's zoom around, and uh, I'll show you guys what I see. All right, so I like to go between two and four miles an hour. When I'm really looking for details, I stay around two miles an hour. Um, and... Uh, and I just, I just stay at that. But four miles an hour is about good for sight imaging and stuff and, and to see things. Now what we're seeing down at the bottom, all these little potholes, that's soft bottom. That's really, really, see how broken up this white yellow line is right here? See a little bit of red in it? That's soft bottom. And those are just potholes that in bad weather, inclement weather, some fish will get down there and, and stir up the bottom and, and make those potholes. Now notice how they disappear. So the, the ground's, the bottom's getting a little bit harder. This right here is hard bottom. And I'm actually going, I'm also going uphill. So all the silt has settled down in the valley down at the bottom. So you see all this white right here, all this light color, that's all hard bottom. Now they made, they made this lake. And so a lot of this is old bulldozer tracks and things like that, where they push the bulldozers up. But as we get shallower and shallower, you'll see you know, less and less of those potholes and a little bit more of other stuff. Now, here's a couple of hard things right here, probably rock or something like that. Moving on up. Those might be hard clay where they dug up and the clay just stayed up top. See how this is hard bottom? See how it's lighter colored? Okay. You see fewer little red dots in the bay, in the bottom down here. You're getting harder and harder bottom. Look how there's no red dots right here. That's a solid bottom. This right here is a is actually a plastic box fish attractor. But you notice the shadow. Look at the shadow right here. So it's pretty, you know, it's four or five feet off the ground. Here's another one right here. Those are actually plastic pallets on this lake. There's another one and there's another one. It's just casting a really long shadow because it's super shallow and it's on the right side. Now look right here, way over to the right. You see that hard thing? Okay, those are rocks. So I'm gonna turn. Watch what happens when I turn. Well, you didn't really see it on this one. But I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna go back over towards those rocks. Okay, yeah, they're over on the left. Whole bunch of them. I saw that and had I not turned and looked at it, I'd have missed all of those rocks right there. Nice hard bottom. And those are the two that I saw. 
How deep am I? Yeah, we're looking at about 11 feet, 11 and a half feet. Okay, more hard bottom, more rocks, and those will be, fish will be on those certain times of the year. You start seeing those rocks on the right side now. All right, we're going straight again. See how straight, how blurred those rocks are? Because I was turning in the middle of it. That's what I wanted to show you before. I was turning and it causes those things to stay, you know, stay in the, in the cone longer. Nice, beautiful rocks. Man, I love scattered rocks like that. When the fish get in there, it really, really gets good. All right, look over on the left. See over here, we got, a, there's a whole bunch of big, big boulders up in here. We just went over top of one. You'll see a, the, the slight edge of it on the, on the regular sonar. Saw a little bit of it on the down imaging. Now I'm going to turn and I'm going to go into those rocks and I want to show, want you to show you a few things. Okay. So I'm turning. So I get to see those rocks again on the left. So I get to see rocks on the, on the uh, regular sonar, down imaging and the side imaging. And where the down imaging comes in handy is if there's fish in there, there's a few little small bait fish in there, but it really separates the fish in the image so there's a little dot there and a little dot there and i know that there's little bait fish but nothing really big in there so i'm not going to stop and fish it but you can't see that over here on this sonar and you sometimes can see it on that on side imaging but not very often all right so we turned right and we're heading back the direction we were going and we see those rocks again we're going over top of a few of them I'm gonna turn just a hair this to the left a little. All right. All right, so we're in about 11 feet of water. Oh, what's this right here? See that right there? I'm gonna turn and go towards it. And I can mark it. I can sit over here and mark it, but I've already got it marked on this fish finder. Just not showing you guys the map for obvious reasons. This is my favorite lake. But we're gonna go over here and see what this is. Okay, should be coming up on here just a second. Oh, there it is. So what that is, that's a tree. See the, see the, the trunk of the tree right there? A little bit of brush right there. I'm gonna make a hard left turn. We'll go over it again. Let's see if I can get straight over top of it right now. Trunk. And a tree. And it's a big tree, but it doesn't show a whole lot. You always want to look for those shadows. You know, if you're if you're looking for brush piles and stuff like that, a lot of little small brush piles. Matter of fact, I know where there's one. I'm going to go show it to you. They don't really show up very good. See how this right here got a little bit lighter? So it's solid light white. Oop, there's something right there. I don't, what did, let's go check and see what that is. I'm going to mark that. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. But I am going to go, go figure out what that is. That might be fish, but I don't see any white. If it was a fish, you'd see white right there. So, but this is all hard bottom. Coming up shallow. Hard clay. Not a lot of silt on there. Yeah, those are fish. Those are fish that are straight dead on the bottom. All you can see is their shadow. And then... Another thing is, is the, the way, the reason you saw them better on one side than the other is when you saw them the first time, they were uphill. See, here they are, they're uphill from us. Downhill, you'll see less of a shadow. Don't ask me why, I'm not going to give you any scientific reason as to why, but I don't know. But uphill, downhill. For some reason downhill, you know, she's, they're just, everything's a little bit thinner. And if they're turned away from us, they'll be thinner too. But the shadow will be thinner going downhill. So one thing a lot of guys ask is, oh, there's an old bluegill bed. See that right there? All the little potholes that are in it, old bluegill bed. A little bit of rock in here, right, right along here. But a lot of guys ask, where's the boat at, at this point in time? The boat on side, scan, on side scan is right here. The boat on these two is here and here. So anything past here is what we've already gone past and here and here, okay? So the boat's there and here. All right. Right here, some more rocks right here. Let's go figure out what that is right there. Uh, I don't know. 
I'm gonna find these little there's some small little fish attractors right here I'm gonna show you show you how hard they are to or how easy they are to miss okay so there's one we went straight over see his PVC fish attractor oops did you see the other one see that one right there a little bit of a shadow but there's one right there Okay, I'm gonna pause that for a second show it to you. There's one right, right there. All right, see it? Just so it looks something different. Those type of fish attractors are so easy to miss. All I see is just a little, what in the heck is that? A little something right there. So I zoomed in, let me zoom back out. So easy to miss. And a lot of small brush piles are that way too. All right, so let's get into some depth change. A little brush pile right here and one right there and one right there. Whole bunch of them. And see this dark hole right here? Okay, that's what a creek channel looks like. And I'm not going straight over top of it and I'm actually going at it at an angle. So if I turn, look where a little, little hump just before you get to the creek channel. Then drops right down into the creek channel. So I turned a hair, but not much. Turned about 40 degrees. Okay, creek channel. And then I come right back up into some shallow water. Notice how it gets hard. Silt can't settle on a drop like that. So it gets, so it stays pretty hard. And then we're clay bottom. See how the creek channel goes off that way? Okay, we're gonna turn. Doing a 180. we're going to drop into the creek channel again and I'll show it to you. So here's a stump. See that stump right there? A little hole. Maybe a little bit of stump or something left of a stump right there. All right, drop it into the creek channel. See that nice ledge right there? Dropping down, coming right back up. To a hump. And then right back down. See the silty soft bottom down here? Hard bottom. Soft bottom again over here. Oh, there's a rock pile. So we got another rock pile right here. And like I said, this is a man-made lake, so it's got a bunch of these rock piles, big boulders that were dumped out in the in the middle of the lake. And there are times of year where these fish are on them, and there's times that aren't, like right now. Water temperature is in the low 50s. See, slightly harder bottom. Man, I can't wait to take this to a grass lake and show you guys some of the things. Another rock pile, we're still going straight. See the bait fish up on the top of this one? Right there. See how they look over here? cool that's probably rock or some type of hard ridge hard bottom ridge and it drops off on the other side so it's like a hump Boom. comes up because we're coming up anyway comes up and then it drops back down <laughs> probably need to point get something to point at like a pencil or something to point with All right, here's an old bluegill bed right here Can barely see the little potholes in it See the hump, hard bottom on the top of that hump. Another old bluegill bed right here. That's an old, that's just a stump or something, a piece of wood sticking it right there. So look over here, here's some hard bottom right there. No, nope, that might be bait fish. Let's go look and see if that, I'm taking a, a 90 degree turn to the left. We're gonna go see if that's bait. Nope, hard bottom. 
See it over to the right. Now, if that hard bottom was close to like deep water or a drop or something like that, there might be fish on it. See, like this is a hump. I bet you there's times of year where the fish will get up on this hump. Hard bottom. You can see the, the bulldozer tracks. I'm not, not exactly staying straight. I'm actually turned a little bit. All right, I'll show you guys one more thing and we'll end this, this video. All right, so what we did is we came off of that, that high ridge or that high plateau and we dropped down and we dropped down significantly down to about 23, 24 feet. And we come back up, we're getting into some deep, deep water. And, and with bass fishermen and stuff like this, there's only certain times of the year they'll get out here. Mainly in the, in the cold, cold winter, they'll get out on this deeper, you know, the deeper stuff. Especially if you're in a lake with no grass and stuff like that, the fish will definitely go out and go deep. So, it just keeps dropping in, but awesome, awesome. All right. All right, so look right here. All right, so that right there is a school of bait fish. Okay. That's what it looks like on, like on the side image, imaging, and it's down in that creek channel. So, there's a creek channel right there. Let me zoom out again. Oops, too far. Ah, uh, come on. All right, so there's the creek channel. Okay, bait fish down in that creek channel. Little potholes down in the silt. There's some more bait right here. That's a larger bait. That might be gizzard shad or bass. Pretty cool. All right, let's go see if we can find some fish. Been hard today, so we'll see. <laughs> Man, that's a really good one. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's really big. Oh, he's just good solid bass. Wow. <laughs> Look at this fish, guys. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he did not want to bite that jerk bait. I had to work him and work him and work him. Wow. Come on, treble hook. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Whoo. Go. It's almost a 20 inch bass right there. Look how fat and healthy he is. Oh. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. All right, so here's a good one right here. I want you to look right here to the right or to the left. It's an old roadbed. See the hard edges? Drops off deep on this side. Old roadbed. All right, we're getting into some good stuff right now. All right, coming up on, on the left. Actually, there's an old, old bluegill bed right there. Got a little bit of rock that's sitting right on next to it. my direction just a hair there we go see a little bit of rock a little bit of rough rough hard bottom right there I'd be dragging something through there jig or anything like that see little potholes those might be fish but uh, they're not because you don't see any shadows behind them it's something directly on the bottom okay same thing over here rock
a little something right there not sure what it is might be a, tr a little stump or stick or something hard bottom Ooh, that's wind brush pile see the brush pile right there just went over a little bit of it all right i repositioned my microphone so maybe the wind won't bug it so much just a bunch of stuff on the bottom I'd be checking all of that just old clumps of you know piles of wood and old rotten brush piles I want to show you guys some gizzard shed there's a giant school of gizzard shed up here I want to see it from maybe we'll run over a little bit of it See, I was turning a little bit. See how those lines, all those lines right here? And that's what this would look like if I was going straight. A little log laying in the water. Here's a big fish right here. See the shadow behind it? Probably a big catfish, big carp. There's some giant carp in this lake. Bluegill bed. Last year's bluegill bed, of course. Something hard on the bottom. I caught a eight and a half pounder off of that last year. See, here's a bunch of fish suspended. These might be bass. They're up a little bit high in the water column, but see, you get the white dot with a shadow behind it, white dot with a shadow behind it. Log with a little bit of silt on top of it. Another log at a rough spot. Here we go. We're getting into a little bit of I don't know what that is. Here, we're getting into our gizzard shad right here. I think. Nope. Well, I couldn't find that school of gizzard shad unless this guy, there's a guy behind me that just caught a nice bass. He might be fishing that school. Oh, well, I was going to show him to you. Maybe we'll get, a, we'll get him next time. Oh, huh. All right. That was fun. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, down in the comments, let me know what you think about it and then give me an idea for a title or something like that. I, I really want to make these things uh, work. I think that they're, they can be a really, really good um, resource for those of you who, like I said, who are trying to learn how to read a fish finder. Just looking at a fish finder, having someone, someone point out what it, what's there is is just cool and as it gets hotter and hotter and gets into the summer times it, it'll be really cool and i can't wait to get out on the grass lake and show you guys but like i always say be sure to introduce somebody to fishing introduce them to my channel let me help you teach them how to fish more importantly get out of the water go ahead and catch some fish and have a great day we'll see you